Yes, good afternoon. Uh, this is SP Agacha Oscar Gregory. I am doing a press statement on the recovery of a gun that has been used for criminal activity uh, within the environs of Soti City and Soti District. And, uh, and in that regard, uh, the police of Soti East Division are uh, holding one Mr. Orego Francis. Uh, a 40 year old male adult who was resident and, uh, in Arubella village, Dakabella parish, Arapai sub county, Minnesota district, in connection with the murder, uh, VTRB 200, 206 of 2023, aggravated robbery, mm, uh, aid of a gun, and then rape. The facts that led to the arrest of the suspect is that uh, on the 10th day, uh, of July at about 8 p.m. Uh, information was received that the suspect in question was admitted at Soto Region Referral Hospital after a fight with his brothers uh, to wit Echegu Isaac and Ocheni Manuel whom he had wanted to cut with a panga. Uh, the, two, uh, the two however overpowered him. Uh, the beating uh, necessitated uh, his admission for medical attention. Uh, it's worth noting that uh, the, has, the suspect, a former Arab boy from the year 2003 to 2007, at uh, Detach 7, at the 7, uh, then as it was located at uh, based at uh, Dakabella, had uh, been in hiding because of his uh, connection to crimes. Uh, for example, it is alleged that um, on the 30th day uh, of June, 2023, uh, the suspect allegedly shot one named um, John Baptist in PIA, PI ward. And uh, it's also worth noting that uh, he's known for his, uh, his repeat offender. Mm. And because of that, he was also arrested in 2003 and he taken to prison. Unfortunately, he appealed his sentence and he was received and he was consequently released. In regard to this investigation, uh, we have recovered a number of exhibits, uh, uh, including uh, a UPDF rifle, uh, UG 5648071641, with the 29 rounds of live ammunition, uh, with another 80 rounds uh, in a pouch. We also have two suspects in custody to help with the investigation, while other suspects uh, are still being looked for by our investigators. We as the Uganda Police Force reiterate our commitment to maintaining law and order in communities by protecting members of the public and their property from gun violence, and reducing the fear of crime by arresting those persons who, who involve themselves in crime and crime-related activities. 